Welcome to this tutorial on grading and annotating Dropbox assignments in Desire to Learn version 10.2. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is after your students have handed in their assignments to the Dropbox area, and I recommend uh, waiting till you know after the due date after everyone has submitted their assignment, what you can do is go in under the assessments area here in Desire to Learn, and the first uh, option here is going to be titled Dropbox. And so if we go into the Dropbox area, we're going to see here that this is the uh, Chapter 3 assignment that we got the students to submit their assignments to. And if I click on that and scroll down the screen here, what it's going to do is it's going to show me a list of the students here who submitted their assignments. Now if we scroll over here to the right, it's going to show you, you know, how many students it's going to show per page. So by default for most of you it that number is going to be about 20 so you're just going to want to change it to for example I always select you know 200 so what it does is it makes it so depending on how many students are in your class it's going to display everyone on this one page what you want to do because what that'll do is if everyone's on this one page when we select them all to download it makes it so you only have to download one file as opposed to multiple files if there's you know a few pages of students so I just as a rule, I like to put about 200 on here just to, just to be sure. And so once you get all the students uh, and all of their assignments here showing on this one page, all you have to do is there's this little box here that we can click on. It's going to click on everybody's name and it's only going to download um, the files for the students that have submitted. So we've got everyone here. We've got Ann Gables and Spider-Man and the generic student here. And so once we're ready to download their file, we just press this little download button. And so what this is going to do is it's going to create this little uh, link here that tells us that the file's ready to download. And so we just press on this, and it brings up another little little window here. And so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to select this option here to uh, to save file. You have an option of opening, but what I recommend is just going and saving the file to your downloads area. And I'll show you why here in just a second. And after we press save file, we just click OK, and we just wait a second here. And so what will happen is, is it'll download it into our downloads area. So what I'm going to do is down here on my computer, I'm just going to go into the downloads area here and I'm just opening up the downloads area. And you can see there's this compressed uh, zip folder right here. So I'm just going to minimize my, my screen here. So what I want to do is I'm going to take this, this, this uh, zip folder and I'm going to move it here onto my desktop. So once it's here on, on your desktop and ready to go, what you can do is just hover over it and I'm going to right click on my mouse to extract all. So what it's doing is it's taking this zip file and it's going to extract it, extract it or unzip it so that I'm able to go on and edit um, the files, um, the Word files that are in there. Otherwise, they're just kind of read only uh, files. So I'm just going to click on extract and what will happen is, is it'll open up all of all of the assignments right here into this uh, into this folder, uh, this new folder. I'll just drag into the area here, this new folder here. So these are all the student assignments here in Word format. So you can see they've got this special number right here. And this number uh, next to the students' names is very important because what that does is it, once we make our annotations and upload these assignments back into Desire to Learn, it sends them to the, uh, the appropriate students. So make sure you don't change any of these names. So for example, Ann Gables here, we want to go on and grade her, uh, her paper here and make some annotations. So we just open this in Microsoft Word. And, uh, and I'm just going to enable the editing here. Perfect. So now I'm ready to go on, read her file. So for example, you know, uh, one of these sentences, we want to go on and make a comment about make a track change. So what I can do is just select it. And up here, there's that little review option here in, uh, in Word to do the track changes. So I put review and then I press this little new comment and it's going to make a comment about this area that I had highlighted. So I can go on and put something like uh, not proper English and maybe I want to select this area here and I'm going to make another comment about this at great point. Okay, so after you go on and you make your, your changes here, what we recommend doing is you just go here to where it says File and Save. And what it's going to do is it's just going to going to save this uh, save this document with the proper track track changes uh, for me automatically. And then once you're once you're done with this student, you can 
click X here, and then we can go on to Spider-Man, for example, the next student. We would open their assignment up and enable the editing here. And again, it's the same process. We can go through, do the review, select the area we want to make the track changes for, provide the comment, say, you know, great work. And then after we're done, we just go File, and then Save. And it'll save this for us, so then we just close down this document. And so we go through and, uh, and, and do all of our changes and our, and our, I guess, our comments here. So after we've done that and we're ready to upload these files back into Desire to Learn for the students, all we do is we take this folder right here, and what we're going to do is we've, we've got to re-zip it in order to put it back into Desire to Learn for it to accept it properly. So to zip it, we're just going to hover over it like this, and we're going to click the right button on our mouse. And there's an option down here that says Send To, and we're going to select that, and then this one that says Compressed Zip Folder. And so once we do that, it, it zips it for us right here. So this is the file uh, that we want want to uh, want to go on. So to not confuse uh, the items, I guess when I go to to uh, upload them, I'm just going to take this other other folder here, and I'm just going to kind of move this out of the way, so I I don't have to worry about looking at it anymore. So we've got this uh, chapter three assignment zip folder here. And so when we're going to put it back into Desire to Learn, we just go back into uh, into D2L, and uh, I'm just going to scroll up here. And so we just go under the assessments button and back under Dropbox and we're going to click on this chapter 3 assignment here and once we go under there there's this add feedback files button right here so if I press the add feedback files button it'll allow us to go and uh, and select the file now you can either drag and drop it from your computer into this box or you can just press the upload button and we can go on here to our desktop and once in our desktop here we can scroll down and find the uh, the zipped folder right here, and I can tell it's a zipped one because it's got this little zipper icon, I guess, right here. And I just say open, and we'll add that. And it shouldn't take too too long, uh, depending on how many uh, assignments that uh, been uploaded. And we can see here three uh, feedback files attached successfully, so perfect, it's all ready to go. So they've all been attached. Now, one of the things we didn't do is we didn't provide the student with their grade. So to do that, we just go in under this Evaluate Submission right here. We click on it, and it allows us to put in the score here for the student. So maybe I'm going to give, give Anne here a nice 18 out of 20. She did some pretty good work. And I can also provide her with some feedback, so I can say, Great work, Anne. And just below this feedback area here, you can see there's a link here. Um, to the Word document. So this is what Anne is going to receive uh, with the annotations that, that we made on the computer and just uploaded. So it's automatically attached for us. We don't have to worry about a thing. We just have to hit this little publish uh, button right here at the bottom. And once we do that, it'll publish this grade and send this uh, back to the students. Okay, so I'll just bring this back down into this area. So what we can do is we can actually, uh, over here, there's an option to go to the uh, the next student or we can go back to the folder submissions. So I'm just going to go back to folder submissions, and it'll show Anne's name here uh, with the with the file she submitted. And over here, it's changed it to uh, to published. So published means that the student uh, has been graded and the, they've been sent their file back. Now right here, it just says draft saved. So it means that annotated file is properly attached. However, the student hasn't received their grade yet. So you just have to go through and and put in the individual grades for the students. So now I'll show you what the student view is like for this. So I'm going to go in just quickly here, and I'm going to impersonate Anne just to show you what, what Anne would see as a student. So the student comes in, they go under Assessments and Dropbox. They click on their Chapter 3 assignment uh, here. Oh, actually, no, sorry. What they do is they go in here, they see their score right over here, and then they can view the feedback right here. So this is the feedback that you provided for them. So they go in, they see that 18 out of 20, and they see the Word file right here that they can just open. And you can see right here, they receive this Word file with the track changes that the, uh, that the instructor made. So this concludes the tutorial on grading and annotating Dropbox uh, files within Desire2Learn.